What's up everybody, wanted to show you my process in ZBrush for creating a quick, highly detailed chain mail on this knight character and wanted to do it in under three minutes. So here we are in ZBrush and wanted to show you basically the uh, clothing underneath has been modeled uh, for subdivision so it has you know, nicely modeled seams and things. We wanna get rid of all of this for, for this particular process. So I'm gonna duplicate my sub tool and click on that guy there and then we're going to come to geometry delete the uh, subdivision levels and then click on Z remesh but I'm going to change the target poly count to roughly one and see what it does so if you hit it again click it again sometimes it takes two or three tries uh, you can see that it's giving me an even distribution of quads across the faces and so we, that's exactly what we want there's a little bit of stretching here and there but we're going to give this a test and jump over to uh, dynamic subdivs this is showing you kind of the before and after um, and then we come over here to geometry and go to dynamic subdivs, turn on dynamic and then click on micro poly. It's going to bring up all of these options. You have tons of options that you can do for scales and chain mail and all that stuff. So I'm going to click on the top right button and look at that. Voila. It's already given me chain mail and those are commensurate with where those quads are. So it's looking pretty sweet, but there's also some weird stretching and that's because there was stretching in the topology. So we have to kind of go back and forth a little bit on this, turn off dynamic and then come back here and do a Z remesh. And we'll just kind of click that guy until we get what we want. So I upped the poly count to two and now we're seeing a little bit less stretching. Um, we keep on clicking that guy and kind of just, it'll give us a more even distribution as we click that. And then uh, come back to dynamic subdiv, turn on dynamic, and then we see that there's a little less stretching, a little less awkwardness there. Um, but we're gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna up my poly count and then go back to dynamic subdiv and turn that on and happy. So good enough for, for me. So I'm gonna hit apply here and that actually generates it into geometry, creates it as a subtool. And I'm gonna inflate in the deformation uh, drop down and kind of inflate that chain mail out. So um, for now, I just have to kind of hide the underlying leather geometry. So you just kind of reveal that a little bit better using uh, deflate and I think I use the snake hook brush here too a little bit. So yeah, we'll use the snake hook and kind of pull that back out. And um, awesome, so now we have chain mail on our character and it's all fully modeled out. It's clean topology, we can UV this and we've done it all in under three minutes. So um, if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, comment and uh, get involved and thanks for watching.